Hi everybody! Hi every spirit! Welcome very much to Where's the Swim Empires. Today we have a video talking about the new patch for Age of Empires 4. Thank you very much for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe. So what do we have today? We have the Season 5 patch. 7.1.113 and we're going to go through it quickly and on point remember to catch me live on twitch using the links down below so plenty of changes are coming with the release of our latest minor patch so it's not really a patch it's a minor patch the wild man and dragon turtle have feedback faded back into legend and we hope you enjoy the monstrous start to season 5 i enjoyed it some people said it was stupid i really enjoyed it brings a new element to the game that you don't necessarily need to interact with but just it being there and you can interact with it w was nice here's a peek at what is included Updates to rank season rewards, we already knew, knew about that. Upcoming seasonal events, changes to address queue dodging and she cheating in ranked, plus bug fixes and balance changes. Thanks again to our amazing community members, all of whom have helped to make Age of Empires 4 what it is today, and it can be better guys. I know for a fact this game has a lot of potential. We just need the community to keep strong, to keep being present and active, and the developers to do things on time. All right, we spend months with the Warrior Scouts being very broken. That can't happen. For an example, right? That can't happen. It can't be months before we nerf a, a unit that is very broken. Right, guys? The Age of Empires team. Thank you very much, guys. We like the game, right? Please note, as part of updating to the latest build, any saved games... Oh, oh, okay. No problem. New seasonal event. Summer vacation. It makes sense. It's summer. In the, in the northern hemisphere, right? For our next seasonal event, it's time to grab your sunscreen and head to the beach. Beat the heat with new challenges and in-game rewards from July 25th in 5 days to August 21st. So it will be about a month and I know about that sunscreen here in Portugal. Going to the beach can be dangerous to your skin. The sun is always strong, it's always there. Can't avoid it. So new portraits. Okay, it's like the villagers going to the beach. Let's go to the beach. Go, go, get away. A new coat of arms. <laughs> the new monument is fun. The new the core of arms almost never amaze me, never surprise me, never make almost never make me like oh I want that. But the portraits have been really nice. I have to admit that. Challenge, okay, it's the typical challenges. Uh, so yeah, ranked season updates, map pool change. Since our map monsters have left for left for the season. They will no longer be appearing on ranked maps. The ranked map pool is otherwise unchanged. Battle your way up to the rank ladder before the season ends on October 23rd. So, nothing changed. You don't have the monsters. It's okay. Ranked rewards. Mention in both of our Season 5 release notes and our follow-up post. Progress continues to be made on changing the rank rewards system. Starting with this patch, players should now, should, should. Are you not sure about your work, man? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Players should now see the highest rank they have achieved this season on their profile and on the multiplayer ranked screen. Bro, this is very important. For example, last season, I reached Diamond 1 but I ended go to 3, and it's not fair that for all the entirety of Age of Empires 4, 
if people look up my profile, they will see Gold 3 on Season 4. And I think this was needed for two reasons. First, uh, like pride, sense of achievement. I reached Diamond. I want people to know that I reached Diamond. I want people to know that that was my highest ranking. Second reason, and perhaps most importantly, is that people would stop play, at least in their main accounts, when they reached a high rank because they want to lose it. They don't want to lose that rank, so I'm going to play on a new account or I'm going to stop playing completely. And that resulted in a very deserted, deserted a few weeks, last few days of the ranked uh, ladder. I don't really care much about ranking. I do care, but not that much. So I, I don't stop playing when I reach a high rank. But it kind of like annoys me a little bit that I, I don't have the diamond from last season, right? And it also, third reason or third consequence, it promoted the birth of new Smurf accounts. Because I reached Diamond in my main account, I stop playing there and I go play somewhere else in my new Smurf account so I don't lose my Diamond rank for an example. That is, that is not cool, that is not nice, this is very, very good. One th only thing negative about this. This should already be here, guys. I don't want to be negative, but we paid 60 euros, or perhaps you caught the game in discount, but you paid money for this game that didn't have and still doesn't have very necessary, we can call it also basic features like the recon reconnect button. For an example, you you having your highest rank on, on ladder displayed, that is very necessary, and now we have it, so I'm very thankful. Q dodging. We have updated the game server's back end to better detect when a player purposefully disconnects from their match. The system should now apply Q dodging cooldown punishments more instantly than previous configurations. Purposefully disconnecting from a wreck v1 lobby or match will now also count as a loss for the disconnecting player in addition to the cooldown punishment. So now if you dodge on ladder, you lose automatically. But it happens sometimes, like I'm usually plat 2, plat 3, and I play against gold 1s and gold 2, and it's normal that those guys don't want to play against me. Like if I, I uh, queue against the diamond 3, I don't want to play against the diamond 3. Right? So it's natural that those guys dodge or leave the match. So the matchmaking should be improved in that regard. It's not, it doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. These changes continue now here reading. Incongruence with some of our other changes should reduce the frequency of Q dodging. We are continuing to monitor this closely and may further tighten Q dodging Punishments to be more in line with other age titles, which I don't know about. Additionally, we remain aware Q dodging is more frequent at the high and low extremes of ELO levels. Really? I wasn't aware of that. And we are continuing our work to address the matchmaking process for those extremes, to further reduce the frequency of Q dodging for these players. And I was talking about it. So they know, I was talking about it, they know what I was talking about. Right? Ranked cheating. In our update, kicking off start season 5, we mention our continued investigation of cheating on the rank ladder. Especially in team, bro, those team games dudes, they have no chill. Thanks in part to reports sent in from players, we have taken some key steps to reduce cheating in rank. Do we have access to those things? No. Alright. Mods. Fix an issue where mod creator on the Windows storage game version were unable to publish. Publish new created mods using and see the mod publisher page. Okay. Gameplay. AI updates. 
fix the rare issue where the AI would build too many lumber camps on some maps. I saw people talk about it, but it never happened to me. Fix the crash bug related to AI trading. UX and UI and menus. Fix an issue where the user was unable to zoom while in replays when using caster mode. When lo Oh! Oh, they fixed it! Oh, shit! When I read, the, like, I read fast through this before starting the, uh, the video, and I was like, ah, this part doesn't matter. But this is very important because I do a lot of casting, right? And this is very important. The user wasn't able to zoom while... Uh, both zoom in and zoom out while in real place you're using the camera. They fixed it! That was fair. I mean, fast, but it was faster than usual. Congratulations. Like, I'm happy for that. Yeah, let's go. When launching the game in melee, Malay? Melee? Or Hindi languages, the daily challenges, new feeds, and events will not be in the correct language. Okay. Fix the alignment of the season 4 painting seal frame which was off center okay fix the bug to ensure that if a player's communications are set to block no one will be able to chat to that player in game thanks in part to players sending in their warning logs we were able to quickly identify and implement a fix for another set of conditions that were causing a crash on edge up for several players if you continue to encounter the crashes, please reach out to customer support so that we may investigate. So they are on top of the crashes. I like that. Campaign. Fix the crash that was preventing campaign save files from loading. Alright. Maps. Prairie. Fix an issue on Prairie where one of the neutral markets would sometimes not spawn. Golden Heights. Golden Heights now appears in the correct alphabetical order on the map selection list. Fix an... O an occasional and equal board distance distribution issue on Golden Heights 1v1. Really? I never noticed that. Maybe because I stopped playing water maps because I was too good. No, literally, guys, I'm not joking. I have, like, very high win rates on the water maps and quite low win rates on the land maps. So I'm now focusing on the land maps. You know, just gotta get better. Catch me live on Twitch using the links down below. Balance and bug fixes. This is what we want. Fixed uh, he itching issue seen when felling trees on certain maps. I don't know what that means, y'all. Leave a comment if you do. No. Fixed a potential crash that was linked to using voice chat. Alright, I didn't know about that one. Balance and gameplay changes all civilizations. Monks will no longer stutter when attack move villain. That that could be frustrating, guys. Patrolling monks will no longer heal while patrolling. <laughs> Who puts their monks on patrol, bro? I, I, I never saw people do it, but perhaps it's useful. Perhaps I'm dumb. No, I'm not. Uh, this is an unintentional change that we aim to fix in a future update. Uh, what? I thought you fixed it. But now you're telling me you're going to fix it later? Never mind. Keeps. Guys, this is important. Because I keep telling you that uh, keeps make the game too slow. And perhaps uh, you are winning. And then the enemy makes a keep and it completely stalls out the game. And then they end up winning. Or, or like, it's, sometimes it's too much. Okay? Keeps sometimes not in, like, not in general. But sometimes are too much. Right, so all civilizations keep stone cost increased from 800 to 900, so 100 more stone to build your keeps. That means that also for the Delhi, they get they have the discount for the compound of the defender, but it will be more expensive to build keeps for everybody. I, I like that, I like that, especially HRE with Palos of Schwabia, they can just reach our base, drop three, four keeps, and it's done. Because they can expand those villagers, and because they had a lot of stone gathering, because they have infinite villagers. Right? I like this change. I think this is going to change the game for the positive. Bombarding placement range reduced from 100 to 9.5. And the keep... This might hurt the French, though. 
because the French like to build the keep to reduce the cost of their units, and now they have to mine more stone and uh, use more time to do that. I, I don't know if that will, will be good for the French, but I think it will be good in general. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Boiling oil range reduced from 2 to 1.5. That I agree. Because, like, boiling oil is for when somebody's under the keep, not for when somebody's walking by the keep. That makes sense. I like that change. Boiling oil damage area change from 2.5 per 1.5 rectangle to a 1 radius circle. Hmm. I think I like that. I can't really imagine it right now. I have to play. I mean, I can imagine the circle, but I can't imagine the practicality of it. Overall keep and bombarding placements are too effective when comparing their costs to the cost of their counters. True! Very true! Making keeps more expensive means they will be a bit slower to hit the field, and thus their positioning will be more important. Very true. Boiling oil changes are aimed at overall reducing the area a bit and making the damage area more consistent. In a future update, we are looking at a new visual effect to communicate the area more precisely. Great change. Applause. Applause. I like it. I like it. Bombard move speed increased from 0.62 to 0.75. Uh, I think it's needed. It happens like I'm playing and I have like three bombards in queue. And I'm like, where, where are my bombards? Where are my bombards? And then I look and they're still halfway through the map. And I'm like, bro, come on, I need you yesterday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Developer note. Overall, we have been seeing a lot of ramp play because of their low cost and easy use. Easy? Bro, are you kidding me? Have you seen that pathfinding? Of those rams that that makes me crazy sometimes path harder that's what we say but they need to path better not harder they need to path smarter not harder right <laughs> um the, we see a lot of ram play because low cost and easy use these changes started at helping the bombard which has to pack and then pack and then move yeah and yeah i like it i like it because what we want it's not like that unit is strong and everybody just uses that unit. We want, oh, for this occasion, that unit. Oh, now, in this situation, that unit. Like, both are good in different situations. We want versatility. We want more units. Like, if in one game you use more units, that means that the game is good, right? Villager, oh, this is very good. It's, it's more quality of life, right, than actual balance, but it's very good. Villagers no longer use bow weapons to attack boars. They now always use a spear. And why this is good? Because you don't need to uh, bring the villagers closer to the boar and then kill it. You can just select and then move on to whatever you were doing. Because what you, you had to do before is you... Uh, uh, move the villagers near the boar, really close, shift click kill, right? Uh, and then shift click um, build the mill. Now you just click the boar, shift click mill, right? Way more simple, there is no risk of, lo of losing villagers. We have eight villagers, just send them there. You have to micro uh, that one villager, I believe, and I think it's okay. This change is aimed at making taking mores more accessible by reducing the micro requirement for fighting them. That's exactly what I said in more words. Selecting an active trader displays the amount of... Bro, I was so pissed because I couldn't see how much fucking gold my traders or in casting their traders were fucking carrying. Bro, I was like, why? I, now I have to look at the market? And see how much they drop, but it doesn't show. So I have to know how much gold he has right now. Okay, okay. Vill uh, trade is delivering, but, oh, but the villagers are, are also gathering. Fuck! Now the calculations are all wrong, but I like this. I like this. Fix the bug where previously idle units will move to the position of an enemy they defeated. 
never happened to me, or maybe it did, I didn't notice, fix an issue where ranged siege units will fail to reposition when too close to an obstruction, such as a stone wall, if the target was otherwise within their range. Ranged siege will now back up and reposition to a better angled shot or find another target. Uh, that's good. Uh, thanks. Civilization specific changes. Abbasid. Fresh foodstuffs. Redu oh, they're making fresh foodstuffs cheaper. We like the decision point here of technology versus villager. But reduce the price so the technology payoff time is faster. Hmm. But it's like fresh foodstuffs, more villagers. Or more military. Hmm. I don't think this was needed, right? Vasid is pretty good. I don't know. If any pro player is watching right now, tell me if you think this was needed to make this technology cheaper. I, I don't. In my plat slash diamond one mentality, I think it wasn't needed. Uh, but uh, I want to know your more educated, more experienced, more yellow opinions, alright? Chinese, my boys. Great Wall Landmark. Great Wall Gatehouse damage reduced from 15 to 13. It was very strong, guys. Uh, let's be honest. It was pretty strong. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Keeps. Damage, re damage reduced from 50 to 25. Bro, that's 50%. What? Why? Oh, because attack speed increased. I like that. That's why. All right. So they, they make less damage, but they attack more. So they basically not the same. We have to, to see the ratio. I think it's, yeah, because they decrease half damage and they increase the attack speed in half as well. So I think it's the same, they just attack faster, which is good. Because, like, uh, they can kill this target faster and then shoot that other target. Because before, they will kill that target anyway, but it will take more time. Oh, thank you very much for the sub! Empire B -L -B -L -D -R. thank you very much for the subscription! Your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you the best thoughts, ideas feelings and emotions and the whole bunch of individuality creativity and responsibility as well remember to check the youtube channel and your support is greatly appreciated bro thank you very much for the prime and yeah so the keeps like they will be able to kill that one unit but it will take too long and the other units will do whatever now you, you kill that unit anyway but you kill it faster so you can jump to the other unit faster as well it, I think this makes the keeps more effective. Asian technologies, Asian techniques, technology gather bonus reduced from five percent to four percent. I mean, China late game is pretty goddamn strong, guys. I think that's good. Delhi Sultanate, my boys too. If you don't know us, we usually play French, Chinese, and Delhi. And on Twitch, if you reach ten subs, we'll make. A whole live streamer we just play Delhi because I've not been playing Delhi enough. The more faith landmark no longer has a 50% speed penalty, gives a discount of minus 50 instead of ah, so now they will produce slower because it was cheaper, now it's less cheap, but it produces faster. This might change a lot, guys. This might change a lot the daily place. Right what I'm saying. This might make Delhi very good. Because you know why? Um what's the name of the technology? Imp improved production, efficient production. A lot of scholars into the buildings. Uh, scholars to the sacred site, scholars to heal, scholars everywhere. Right? Right? 
we wanted to give the Dome of Faith more tempo with faster train time on scholars. Additionally, it generates increased resources per minute while constant training. This is balanced by the fact that the building generally has more idle time than other production buildings as it creating a more specialized unit. I do like that. I don't know if you already have a new team behind closed doors, but if you do, I like how they're doing, I like what they're doing, and I also like their perspective behind things. It's, it's making a lot of sense. House of Loading Landmark, Heart Iterations, Carry Capacity Increase from 5 to 10, Heart Iterations Research Time Reduced from 5 to 35, 345, Tranquil Venue Technology League Increased from 2, bro, let's fucking go, let's fucking go, let's, let's go, House of Learning Delhi, coming soon to the channel, guys. Malians, Griot Bara Landmark, oh, bro, I remember. Really early, when Malians came out, I played a little bit of Malians, and I had like 40 scouts in late game. I went Griot Bara, I made the Siege Festival, and I sniped all the landmarks like so fast, bro. So, f I don't know if it was the Siege, the one that makes torch damage stronger, right? Siege Festival no longer affects the Springle, Manganel, and Culverin. Siege Festival helps text... Times corrector to read 60 seconds. Musafadi warrior health thing. Oh! Musafadi warrior now it's more tanky. I like that. Ottomans. Sipahi train time increased for 4 seconds. That's okay. I think it's balanced. Uh, it's not like a huge deal. Because it already produces faster. Especially on Imperial Age. If you go with the Insabula Observatory. It's 60% faster, y'all. It's not English level of fastness with a white tower and castle hall. But it's still very fast. And the Tolin Hills technology mining speed bonus increased from 10% to 15%. I guess I'll pick more on the Tolin Hills, guys. Rus. Kremlin landmark. Levy militia lifetime reduced to 65 seconds. Levy militia automatic torch scaling by age removed. So you have to upgrade it now? Or they maintain... The same torch damage. I think they maintain the same torch damage. I, there is no upgrade to make them stronger, right? Fixed a bug where hunting cabins built ad adjacent to no trees generate... What? Really? They will generate... They will take gold from you? They generate negative gold? What the fuck? I didn't know about that. That's actually very interesting. Burst 42 technology health bonus reduced from 30 to plus 55. 25. For this, 55 will be a lot. Ongoing a Bluetooth audio. So um, they res resolve the issue because it will switch the audio, blah, blah, blah. Voice chat reporting. Uh, voice chat futures. How to report the player. Plus ah, because they're toxic. What's on the horizon? Late summer patch. Word continues supporting season 5 with additional minor patches like this. I, actually, I like this. Minor patches. Instead of a one big patch that takes months to come. A minor patch here and there. It's it's what we want, what we need. And it's like, because the like the, uh, now the players can feel that, that their feedback is listened. Because their feedback was listened to, but it would take like months. So it felt like it wasn't. But when, when the patches came out, okay, they listened to us, but it's now too late. But now, okay, we fix this, we fix that, you know? So players, oh, th that's a problem right now. Boom, they fix it. You know what I'm saying? We are currently enjoying a eyeing our next minor patch to align in late summer, so September, um, for lighting up seasonal events, more balance, fine-tuning, and additional bug fixes. Animal Lover Login Event. Do you love animals? I do. Login to the Age of Empires 4 between August 28th and uh, September 1st to earn the Animal Lover Profile Protate. Pro Portrait. <laughs> I don't know what I said. World Gaia Appreciation Event. New port. Oh, that cow! It's so cute. New coat of arms. Uh, once again, they, they're just like, bro, like, whatever. 
I mean, it's all right. We love our planet along with the plants, animals, people, and civilizations that have graced it throughout the age. Bro, that's such an Age of Empires 4 thing to do. That made, I, I, made me shiver a little bit. I got some goosebumps a little bit. I, I'm very humanitarian. To, I, I have that love too, guys. And I really like to look back and just like, oh, bro, the Chinese did that. Egyptians did that. Romans, the Portuguese did that. And to see the evolution of the civilizations and whatnot, bro. And that's Age of Empires, right? These guys are on point, my dudes. Challenge, blah, 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 blah. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Tell me, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this new patch. About how they are doing it. About their perspectives. And about, like them doing these minor patches right i think it's awesome let me know what you think in the comments down below catch me live on twitch leave a like and subscribe till the next time as a static cloud surfer surfing out see you soon